Hi, welcome to my channel. So the first book that I want to talk about is this one called Behind Closed Doors that I read probably like two weeks ago. It's really good. If you haven't heard of this book, you should definitely read it when you get a chance. I don't want to spoil it too much, but I want to talk about some general themes and just overall things that I was thinking about when I was reading this book. Essentially, it is about this couple, Jack and Grace, and they have the seemingly perfect marriage. Everything on the surface looks amazing. They have these lavish dinner parties, they have friends over, and they have these beautiful meals, their house is beautiful, their marriage is beautiful, they're beautiful, everything is great. But when the friends leave, there's some kind of sketchy stuff happening behind the scenes. Hence the name Behind Closed Doors. Grace's life is very different with Jack. And I think it's important to talk about this book because there are a lot of people who are stuck in incredibly abusive relationships as portrayed in the book. And they have no idea how to leave. And especially when it looks as though it's very perfect from the surface, their close friends and their loved ones may not even know what they're experiencing. And so it probably feels as though they're extremely alone, that there's no way out of a difficult situation, that there's no hope for a brighter future. So I want to talk about some of the signs that I noticed in this book in particular that indicated that there is some kind of sketchy stuff happening. And I think that these signs, if you pay attention to them in your regular life, you might notice that there are other people that you're close to who may be experiencing things that they can't talk about, but they still need help if that makes sense. They might be stuck in an abusive relationship or you might be stuck in an abusive relationship with no sight as to, or no, no insight as to how to leave. So without further ado, I wanna talk about a couple of the signs that I noticed in this book. So some of the weird things that were happening in this book that would happen in real life and should raise some red flags are Grace and Jack were always together. Like there is, Never a moment where Grace's friends saw her by herself. And if one of your friends or you is stuck in this relationship where the outside world is completely isolated from you, or you're completely isolated from the outside world, um, and you're only with your partner or only with your abuser, whoever it is, then this is a huge flag. Like this person have, has no control over their life, the decisions that they make, where they go, who they talk to. It just looks really bad. A lot of people who are stuck in abusive relationships, it might seem like the couple is inseparable. They're always together. And it's very codependent. So, and just because a relationship is kind of codependent doesn't necessarily mean that it's abusive. But it is something to look out for. Um, I guess in general, codependency indicates that a relationship isn't healthy. Because the two people need each other all the time. They need to be around each other all the time. So I think that's a first sign that you should look for, codependency in relationships. Something else that I noticed early on in this book was that the dialogue of the characters seemed very scripted. Grace was extremely careful in what she was saying. All of her words were measured. It was as though her and Jack were performing for their dinner guests. They're performing this facade of a happy couple, of a happy life, of going on these lavish vacations together and 
um, just showing their love to each other in a variety of different ways. But none of it is true. All of it is fake. It's all a show. Um, I think if you're stuck in a relationship with an abusive person, then you have to be extremely careful about the words that you choose how you communicate the things that you say in front of other people because saying the wrong thing, doing the wrong thing, acting the wrong way could, it could instigate some sort of fight afterwards. It could cause, um, it could cause violence in very extreme circumstances. It could, um, lead to some sort of emotional abuse after the fact or even in front of the friends. So, yeah, if you notice someone who is, who seems to be choosing their words very carefully to please someone else, or they're putting on a show, then this is another kind of red flag to look out for. So, a third thing that happened in this book was Grace asked for help. She tried to tell people that her husband was abusive. She tried so hard to reach out and do something to fix her situation. And I think a lot of people who are stuck in abusive relationships, it can be difficult for them to ask for help because either they're afraid that they won't be believed, which was the case in this book, um, and also the case in, I forget what book, but the case in a lot of situations when a woman is sexually assaulted by a man and she says something, a lot of times she's not believed. Um, and the, the abuser is defended, which is really scary because it's hard to know, should I do something about this? Should I say something? What happens if I say something and people don't believe me? And then the abuser finds out that I tried to do something about my situation to make my situation better. And if that does happen, if you're not believed, if you have to go back to the abuser after you tried to turn them in, then your life is going to turn into hell. So if there's someone you know who their life, it seems to fit these first two signs, and they also come to you or they go to other people trying to talk about their abuse, trying to stand up for themselves, then you should believe them. You should do something about it. I know there's a case of people lying or making up abuse that's not there. Of course that happens. But I think that if someone says something, they should be believed, they should be taken at face value initially just to secure their safety and then investigation into what is actually happening should follow, um, it should follow them being safe, it should follow them being out of this situation that they're stuck in. They should not be forced to go back into the situation and be trapped there indefinitely or forever. Ultimately, what made Grace's situation with Jack extremely difficult and nearly impossible to leave was the fact that Jack is extremely charismatic. He knows the right things to say to charm someone. He knows how to appear very polished and kind and all these great attributes on the surface, but they're all fake. He's not actually that way. A lot of abusive people have these same kind of qualities. They can look amazing on the surface. They can look like very grandiose and confident and just amazing. A lot of narcissists fit into this, this this description. And I don't know if Jack was a narcissist or a sociopath or something along those lines, but he kind of seems to fit uh, the description of those groups of people. Actually, I started watching this YouTuber called Dr. Romney, 
and she talks all about narcissistic abuse. So if that seems to fit your situation or if you want to educate yourself more on these topics, you should definitely go and watch some of her videos because she's a licensed therapist or something and knows way more than I do. But anyway, Jack seems to fit the characteristics of some kind of narcissist and it's super unsettling because when he's in front of other people he is wearing the superficial mask and all of their friends are they're just praising grace and jack and their relationship and how perfect it is and how amazing he is and then as soon as they leave he completely shifts into a different person i tried to snap didn't work anyway and when it's just him and grace he is horrible to her and this this is the case in abusive relationships in real life so it's very important to keep an eye out for any of these signs that something kind of sketchy could be going on underneath the surface of a relationship um thank you for watching my video i think that if you haven't read this book behind closed doors you should definitely check it out um i don't typically read fiction books too often i kind of prefer non-fiction and i don't really read thriller books but this one was amazing and I highly recommend it. Even just trying out the first couple pages, seeing if you like the writing style, I'm sure a lot of you will like it. A lot of my six viewers, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.